Good Sunday evening, Southeast Texas. Hurricane Lee, certainly no threat to the Gulf of Mexico. It has re-strengthened and it appears to be doing so, certainly an improving satellite presentation. Over the weekend it was battered, or I should say the weekend, really Saturday and Friday, it was battered by southwesterly shear and some drier air that is starting to subside and uh, winds back up to 120 miles an hour. It's moving to the west-northwest, slowing down at eight miles an hour. The forecast showing that this will strengthen to a cat four coming up tomorrow and also into Tuesday. Wednesday, as we've been talking about the big turn, good consensus. Those lines are all packed together. So confidence is that good is that this is going to turn towards the north and parallel the east coast. So it looks like Florida, as we've been saying, the southeastern US and mid Atlantic is probably off the hook as this heads generally towards the north. Now what happens as we head on into next week as this uh, then heads towards the north? Well, there are some uh, of the ensembles that show a possible landfall on uh, the coast of New England, but the consensus is mainly towards the Ca Canadian Maritimes back over towards Nova Scotia as we head towards uh, say this next weekend into Monday, Tuesday, uh, the following week. Still not a done deal, and there's still the chance it could recurve offshore. That's the best case scenario, and some of the modeling does show that uh, possibility. But right now, not looking good at this far juncture, several days out, certainly could change um, as we head towards, say, next weekend. Otherwise, today is the peak of hurricane season, September 10th. Here we are. Then it's all downhill from there for the most part. So here we are, very active uh, time of the year, and we've got several systems to, to describe and tell you about. There's Margo in the open Atlantic, not an issue, heading towards the north. And then we have, besides uh, Lee, we have two other disturbances in the far eastern Atlantic with a low to moderate probability of development. Right now, taking a look at ensemble modeling, Nothing in the Gulf of Mexico through the next 10 to 14 days. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.